it's another day. I am rushing because I didn't want to get up. Plain and simple. I did not want to get up this morning and I didn't. So I'm rushing. I have to be on the computer in like two minutes. Pretty much almost done with my setup. It's a raw week until Jamaica. So we have fruits, we have some veggies. My God baby is still with me. He's set up in Zoe's room watching TV with his fruit. Um, I'm gonna be set up here in the living room per usual with my fruit. We're gonna do some lead gen again with my um, team lead um, today. And then I have some showings and then I um, have the salon. Um, my old salon, pick up hours there, um, here and there when I can. So today's one of those days that I'm picking up hours and I actually might go hard and do some door dashing tonight. Legit, <laughs> like I legit might go do some door dashing tonight because I want a little extra spending money when I go to Jamaica. All bills are paid. One of my commission checks are being processed today for my rental that I did earlier this month. Okay. Finally getting some kind of money from my real estate endeavors. And yeah, so it's all good in the hood. So get off, get off of that. Get off of there. Let me feed August before you try to eat everything that I have on the couch and more. Like, I don't know if you saw a crumb or something. But it's calmed down to Jamaica. I'm hyped. Mm. Mm. This fruit is hidden. I'm also making some tea with some ashwagandha in it too. Need that. Um, but yeah, that's today. I know I'm rambling because I'm trying to make sure I say everything that I got going on today before I get to it. But you guys get the point. It's a busy morning, busy afternoon, but we're going to get it done. So I'm just headed out. Where's my sidekick? I got my sidekick in the back. He's gonna go with me to my showings because he's with me today. And his mom is gonna pick him up in like two hours or so. So he's gonna ride with me. Probably gonna grab him lunch. I don't know what's going on here, but we're on our way out the door. Not my showing assistants in the assistant in the back seat sleep like. Who does he think he is? It's only 3.15, child. You've been up since nine o'clock. Why, why you tired? You haven't done anything but get on, eat, play on your game, do one show on um, God Mommy, and that's it. You knocked out, knocked out, sweat, mouth open. When I say he is knocked out, y'all, I don't know if it's focused, because obviously I'm not paying attention to that side, but <coughs> I still got this dag on cough. Knocked out, got the nerve. Anyway, I'm in some sort of congestion trying to get to a gas station because I have 20 miles to empty, so I know I'm good. But I don't understand why, what, what's happening. I think it's some construction, maybe Verizon or Comcast working on some phone lines. I'm not sure. When I tell you people pick the weirdest time to do this type of work, like if I, if something said, you know what? And I'm, you know what? It just clicked in my head. I'd be ignoring the Holy Spirit. I'd really be ignoring the Holy Spirit. Because the Holy Spirit told me to take a left a few lights back there and I'd have been at my destination by now. But no, I was like, no, I can just go straight. It's more of a direct route. Cause I think I know better. Cause I think I know better. See, that's the problem. It just clicked in my head. The Holy Spirit be telling me, no, you don't know better. You don't, you, you don't know better. And now I'm sitting here in traffic, been sitting here for about 10 minutes trying to get to the gas station so I can get to the, to the salon on time by four o'clock. And I'm still gonna get there by four o'clock, but I'm probably gonna have to sit this light for another two light cycles because people can't get through the light in a timely manner. And again, if I just, you know what? Holy Spirit, keep talking. I'm gonna, keep, I'm gonna stop ignoring you because I don't know better. I don't know better. <laughs> I don't. 
So once I get out of this traffic and gas, I'm gonna head to Hair and Space to do I think three clients on the book. Um, a quick little hundred dollars or whatever, nothing crazy. Um, but I would make my hundred dollar goal for the day. I just got off my coaching call. Um, it was actually like my ninety, my I'm sorry, my sixty. No, my thirty day review. We're two weeks late. There were some things I did not recall um, being discussed in onboarding, like you know, face to face meetings with people weekly, at least two or whatever. I was like, girl, I don't remember that. Nobody told me that. Anywho, long story short, I think we talked over some of the things and points I should be hitting right now, and I'm not. And I'm going on vacation next week to Jamaica. They agreed. We agreed that giving me another week or so would be only fair. So I get another week to my 90 days um, all together. I didn't count a, a buyer's consultation properly. So I'm now at, I'm hitting certain, certain ones, certain benchmarks that I should have hit my first three days that I didn't think that I was hitting. So I'm glad we had that conversation. Um, so I feel a little bit better. I've been calling cold leads since last week or the week before. Um, but I'm calling more cold leads than I was previously um, because I'm running out of my sphere of influence to reach out to. So I'm doing colds. Out of those colds that I've called this week, I may have two potential people I can work with in the future that I'm excited about. Um, I'm going to do a lot more today. Like once I get settled in at the hair salon, because I think I don't start, I think I'm supposed to be there at four, but I don't have anybody on the books until at like 4.45. So I have ample time to get there. And once I get there and get settled, I can sit in the back and make some more calls before the day is over. Um, so I, I'm feeling good. I'm feeling better about my, my process. It's still a little stressful. Um, and I just gotta get out of my head. Anywho, rambling at this point, I should make it through this light next, I hope. We're scooting. So I can get this gas and get to the hair salon on top. I'm meeting my best friend at this gas station as well because she has to pick up my baby. He can't go to work with me, obviously. So she's gonna pick him up so they can go about their day. I've gotta call her back and let her know that, hey, I'm at this light, but I'm around the corner. Um, my throat is not hurting anymore. Well, it's still sore, but not on the extreme side. I'm gonna try to continue resting my, because I've been resting my voice as much as I can. Obviously not that much because I gotta talk for my job. Um, but when I don't have to talk, it's a dub. Um, but I feel much better. I still feel some tenderness there, but it's going away. Um, I ordered all of my stuff that I need for Jamaica, like travel size shampoos, toothpaste, etc. Some more sun, um, sunblock, sunscreen. I know I'm forgetting something, but I'm gonna slowly start packing probably tomorrow after the salon, maybe even tonight once I get home, I might start washing clothes or just like throwing certain things in the bag that I know I wanna take for sure that are clean. And then start to wash like maybe one load tonight after I DoorDash. Um, but I'm not going crazy with a million one outfits. It's gonna be really like when I say chill, chill. And watch these people take forever to get to this light. Watch them take for freaking ever to get to this light. Come on, let's go. And you're breaking, you haven't got to the line yet. Get through the light. You're breaking for no reason. Lord. Knock down that gas station. That's wild. Anyway, yeah, I'm gonna just slowly like throw some things in the bag um, so I don't overwhelm myself. We're not doing anything wild. Like we're gonna be mainly at the beach, and we might do some stuff with the locals. I don't know, but we we all will see next week when I get there. I just wanna make sure I got some draws. My cycle hasn't come yet, so I'm gonna make sure I got some feminine products. Make sure I'm good to go. Not out there wilding, trying to find a place to get something from. Um. Yeah, so I'm gonna start that. Nothing much going on here, guys. Lead generation, work, lead generation, packing. And that's it. Per usual, I am late. It is another day. It is Friday. And I forgot my watch. I feel like I left something else at home, but as long as I have my hair stuff, I'm good. I am late to my Friday appointment with media. 
um, because I was trying to open up my bank account for Bobo Realty Group. So that's done. I just had to finalize it by logging into my account and making a deposit of um, I think $100 or something like that, which that's easy. Um, but if I can do it electronically, I'll just do it that way because I probably don't have any time to do that. Um, but yeah, I'm running late. Um, I forgot to put moisturizer on. And that's gonna bother my soul until I get somewhere stationary to find some moisturizer. But I do have this body oil on here. It's good for the body. It says body, bath, hair, and massage. I know face and body are two different things, but it might have to just go on today because I just feel like I need to put on moisturizer. I did do my SPF while I was signing documents, but I was rushing and I realized what time it was. I was like, oh crap, I gotta go. I'm sitting here talking to this man, Kiki, and like we're best friends. Hey girl, you got somewhere to go. Face ashy. What? So anyway, I'm probably gonna put this oil on my face because where else would I get moisturizer from at this point? I could probably ask media, but I'm rushing. I, I just need to do it while I'm thinking about it because I'm gonna run in there, do her hair, and run out. And I think about moisturizer at all. Hopefully traffic is good to me. It says it's gonna take about 40 minutes. Why? I don't know because everyone should be on vacation or something at this point, but already in some congestion, great. Okay, so 40 minutes it is. I have an 11 o'clock, but thank God that 11 o'clock is my best friend. I already told her I might be a few minutes late, so I will text her when I'm like halfway done with media to let her know like, hey, by the way, you might wanna just wait till 11 o'clock to leave out of the, um, out of the, uh, wherever she is, I don't know where she is. Um, but I'm thinking about actually texting my friend that's right, oh no, he's not right after her, is he? I might text my friend that's right after her and tell him to come at like 11.30, 11.45, so while she's processing her color, I could be doing his hair, because he usually doesn't take that long, and he can wait a hot second um, while I finish like cutting her, or she can wait a hot second while I finish braiding him down and call it a day. So that's what I'm actually about to do right now so I can stay on top of everything. So I'm not running behind because I have two others right after. So I just got finished at the salon. I am here I'm about to clean up, pack up, and head out. I'm a little excited because my last client canceled and I'm behind on my Legion. So I'm gonna go home Legion for a little bit and I might actually go out tonight and um, do some door dashing um, tonight for some extra coins. Um, it's 3.30, I don't know what to do with myself. I'm usually still here slaving away and my last night just left. So I'm gonna pack my bag. I was gonna leave my hair stuff here, but I have a mobile client next week before I leave to go to Jamaica. So I need to take myself with me because I think she's getting, um, I don't know what she's getting actually. It doesn't really matter. I just need to take all my stuff with me so I can be prepared. I think I might need to buy a product now that I'm thinking about it. I need to buy a product. I need to buy the treatment for her. Or should I buy the thickening one for her? Because her hair is fine and it could use, maybe I should buy the plumping mask. Uh um well does it add moisture i don't even know i've never used this before never used it so i'm not sure but i know i need to get i got the thickening spray so i don't need to buy that there is a oh it's a grooming cream i can't read okay um i already have this i probably i mean i don't need to buy anything I don't know, but anywho, so I'm about to clean up, like I said, and head on home. And I had to finish editing this video, which I fell asleep editing last night. Like I literally was like, I'm gonna get this done tonight. I got it, da, 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 da. And I fell asleep. I absolutely fell asleep and yeah. So I'm gonna do some Legion, in between Legion, edit this video, and then DoorDash tonight to make an extra queen. There would be a seafood food truck outside of my job when I'm not eating food right now. I'm a sucker for seafood balls, okay? 
Y'all, when I say it's crispy out here, my car is reading 100 degrees. What? I'm going in the house immediately. There's no way. There has to be a air quality um, advisory at this point, and I'm taking my asthmatic self in the house. What? A hundred? This is absolutely absurd. 106? 106? And I gotta walk August in this weather? He better come and drop his butt down on the ground. Pee, poop, let's get it. I'm going to freaking pass out. Oh my gosh. It's another day. It is the Sabbath. It is now, what, 10, 15-ish, I guess. Um, we're getting ready to head out to Tanasha's house. We're doing another in-house Sabbath, um, a Sabbath kickback. Um, I'm probably gonna have to stream some of the church service from online because it's 10 o'clock, 10, 15. We're still in Maryland. Andrew's gonna go with me today. He enjoyed it last time, so. We're gonna have a good fellowship. We're gonna have some fun. Like I said, I'm gonna have to unfortunately stream some of this from the car because we're late. I laid around. It is what it is. Y'all know how I be. Um, Tanasha is doing our famous, you know, Sabbath after Sabbath um, lunch. Haystacks. I'm gonna take a watermelon and some olives because I don't think she has olives ever, and I love olives on my haystacks. And I'm gonna stop and get some beverages to have after Sabbath. Um, Cause it's gonna be kind of like a kind of all day thing. Um, I'm supposed to be going to another party tonight, but depending on how chill this kickback is, I may not go, may not go. We'll see, I'm, I'm gauging it based on how I feel. One, gauging it on traffic, three, um, I wanna count this as one of my in-person meetings that I'm required to do now that I did not know about until the other day. I'm supposed to be meeting and build, I'm supposed to be building relationships. I start there. I'm supposed to be building relationships with ind individuals, which I already do naturally, right? But I'm supposed to be intentional about these, um, these, um, these relationships that I'm building, which means um, my team and my coach would like for me to have a sit down, look someone in their eyes, you know, and say, hey, how are you been? Which again is something that I do. I just never thought it would be relative to real estate, but here we are. So that's why I'm kind of like back and forth about whether or not I want to go to this um, party tonight because I could use this as one of my in-person meetings this week. Um, because next week I only have three days to do real estate and I'm out of here. I'm out of here. So I'm trying to fit in hair, real estate, waxing, packing, washing clothes, showings, all this in three days. Um, so I need to figure out how I'm gonna utilize my time the best way I can. So that's why I'm debating. So we will see, but we're gathering our things. August is going as well. And we're about to hit the road to Dumfries, Virginia. The aiming route is the first missionary trip. And on the way, they stopped at a town called Lystra and they met a young man named Timothy, a young disciple. And they were so impressed with Timothy that they asked Timothy to join them on this missionary journey. And they were heading to Asia. Where were they heading? Asia. Asia to preach the gospel in Asia. And so when they arrived in Asia and they were ready to enter into Asia to preach the word, Satan prevented them from going in. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. It's always a hater. Y'all sleeping on me. Y'all sleeping on me. Y'all sleeping on me. For Paul, because he reserved that for John. Mm -hmm. Man, y'all gonna get this in just a second. Mm -hmm. I, I, I'm gonna make you see it in just a second. So, God, listen to me. God, close that. He said, Paul, you my boy. Mm -hmm. You're gonna do great things. You're gonna raise up churches all over. You're gonna minister. You're gonna be a blessing. But this right here 
is reserved for John the Apostle. Period. Oh, my, my. <laughs> In other words, God may have closed the inner part of Asia to Paul so he can keep it for John. See, let me tell you, the reason we shouldn't be discouraged when God closes doors in front of us is because God also closes doors behind us. Amen. Man, I'm gonna let that. I'm gonna. Yeah, that Amen. somebody didn't get that. So, let me let me explain it to you.